Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For you guys that don't know me, I'm Nina. Very, very nice to meet you. Thank you for being here. I am a certified life and relationship coach for all of you guys that are new to my channel. So welcome. So today's topic that I wanted to discuss with you guys is off of an email that I received that I wanted to share. So one of my viewers reached out to me via email. Um, and again, I always link that email down below. If you guys have questions that you want me to make a video about, I'll be more than happy to do so. And so this young lady reached out to me and wanted to get a little bit of advice, a little bit of feedback about what she should do with a guy that she is liking, liking a lot lately, okay? So let me read this to you guys. How to approach a guy you're talking to about friendliness and liking other women's photos before the actual relationship, okay? So my personal opinion about this is, well, A, I've gotten these questions before. I've gotten these questions quite a lot. It seems like there is a lot of young ladies that reach out to me and have these issues with these guys that either they're just quote unquote talking to, kind of getting to know, where they start seeing the red flags, seeing things that kind of rub them the wrong way that these guys do to them, in front of them, around them, and they just kind of want to know, you know, what do I do? What do I do? There's, you know, I like this guy, but there's some things he's just doing that is just not settling with me, okay? Or I get it from ladies that reach out to me that are already in the relationship, and these boyfriends of theirs end up being kind of disrespectful in that kind of way, Example given, social media, where they are liking other women's photos, maybe talking to other women, kind of in an innocent quote-unquote way, where they're not technically flirting with them, but they're still talking to them, even though they really shouldn't, since they have a girlfriend, and it just gets messy. And these girls find out, and they're upset, and they're like, what do I do? How do I stop it? How do I change it? So on and so forth, okay? So... I actually like this question a lot. I mean, I like all of them, but this one stood out because I feel like a lot of women go through this stuff and they seem to be in kind of a lost stage where they just don't know how to handle it. And what I noticed about these young ladies that reached out to me is that many of them, they're looking for a solution to fix this problem. How do I get this man to stop? How do I get this guy to like me? How do I get him to focus on me? Like, how do I pull him out of that for him not to do that anymore? And here's the thing, okay? Here's the thing. He's going to stop liking those photos of those women when he likes you. That's just tough love right there. It's honest truth. It hurts, but it's tough love and it is what it is. Okay, if he's liking them, these girls' photos, these young ladies' photos, these women's photos, he does not like you. Because if a guy did, he would absolutely not risk losing you over some photo of some chick that he saw, that he liked, that he found attractive, so on and so forth. He would not risk it. Let that sink in. I'm going to say it again. He would not risk losing you over a photo of another woman. He just know that it's just not worth it. Because you know, a lot of times on Facebook or on Instagram, you could see what photos people like or comment on. Even though you don't follow this other person that they're commenting, talking to, liking, whatever. You can still see the comments. So therefore, unless he's really, really not that intelligent, he would know better than say, than put all of that at risk to get caught up talking to some, you know, half naked woman on there or a woman he finds attractive for whatever reason and risk losing you over something that small. He just wouldn't. So what I'm trying to say, ladies, is that you're really, really, really trying to make something work that is just not meant to work. 
you're trying to figure out a way like how do I change him what do I do how do I change myself what do I say what do I tell him what do I this what do I that in actuality you're wasting your time think about that for a second if you're already doing this prior to the relationship how do you think that relationship is going to be if and when you get into it it's literally kind of like a sneak peek to what's going to happen if not worse when you get into this relationship with him because if he doesn't care about it your feelings now he doesn't he doesn't take into consideration that that's just not necessary to do that's selfish to do I'm here just caring about myself. If he doesn't care about any of that, the fact that you may find out and that may hurt you, you may find out and you may get upset, you may find out and you may leave him. If he doesn't care about any of that, what makes you think that down the line he's going to care about your feelings when you guys are quote unquote official? Ladies, he's not. He's not going to care. You got to understand that part. So these things that are happening right now prior to the relationship are like blessings in disguise. They're blessings in disguise cuz he's literally showing you his true colors, right? He's telling you this is who I am. And because some ladies just don't know better, I'm not saying you have to be a certain age to not understand versus being older. because there's, you know, older women that haven't dated much and they're just still learning the process. We've all been there, right? We've all been there. But it's basically him showing you his true colors and saying this is who I am. It's either you're going to say, "Mm, that's not going to work for me. I'm out. See you later." Or you're going to baby this relationship. You're going to forgive him for the things he's doing. You're going to excuse all of his bad behavior and let him get away with it and that's going to teach him that you have no respect for yourself. You don't care enough. Yeah, you're going to be hurt. Yeah, you're going to be upset at him. You're going to get probably into an argument or dispute. But you're still going to be with him, which allows him which tells him that yeah, I'm probably going to hurt her if I do this, but it's not like she's going anywhere. Think about it that way. you have a lot more self-worth. You have a lot more self-respect than to put up with a man child that is clearly not ready to be in a relationship. He's still, you know, probably chatting with his mom and figuring life out and taking advice from her about how to do things that he doesn't even comprehend that it's time to take the man role if i decide to date this woman or or be in a relationship with this woman it doesn't even occur to him like it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't even click like he's just not comprehending that piece like this is what happens when you start dating a woman this is what happens and is expected of me when i'm in a relationship with a woman I have to change my ways. But it doesn't. It doesn't even click because he's still on like he's still in little boy world. You know what I mean? He's he's still not he's not there. So at this point, you're going to take him like under your wing and you're going to be leading that relationship, losing sleep over it, trying to in a way control it because he's just not all there. He doesn't have his ducks in a row. He's just not mentally there. He's not mature enough. Here you are thinking you have a boyfriend, but in actuality, it's like you have to babysit him. You're going to feel like you have to now figure out what he's doing, why he's doing it, why he's doing it to you. Are you doing something wrong? You're going to end up hurting yourself more by dealing with his crap, dealing with his shenanigans, having to constantly watch him. see what he's doing, is he behaving, is he not? That's not your job as the girlfriend. That's not your job while you're dating. It's just not your job to do period. And a lot of times women are put in that situation and then instead of just leaving 
this bad situation, we just take it on a run. We run with it. We put up with it. We let these guys disrespect us. We let these guys do what they want. Like we see it coming, literally. And then we're just standing there waiting to take it instead of saying, no, I'm sorry. Clearly, you need some maturing. Clearly, I am way advanced in relationships than you are, and I'm just not gonna deal with your shenanigans. Instead of saying all of that, we just go for the ride, okay? So this is where we have to stop and think. Is it even worth it? Is it worth losing sleep over this guy? Is it worth you having to babysit 24-7? To have to see him liking other women, women that are half naked online, is that worth it? Is that somebody you'd be proud of? Does that person help you grow? Does that person make you a better person? Are you guys a powerful couple? And if it's a no to those questions, rethink your situation, ladies. It's just not worth it. It's literally all of the red flags presented to you in advance letting you know that you know what just so you know when you get into this relationship with me all of that be prepared for it because i'm gonna do it to you that's what he's basically saying and it's just not worth it it's not worth it so again if he's liking other women's photos it's because he doesn't like you that's okay there's somebody else that will love you instead but you're not gonna have to babysit you're not going to have to get angry with that you're not going to have to teach and train and be his mom okay that's a blessing in disguise that's a blessing in disguise and for the ladies that are dealing with this in a relationship so me talking about what i just talked about was prior to getting into a relationship this is when you guys are just getting to know one another but not really in the relationship yet for the ladies that are in relationships with these guys that think it's okay to do, where they're absolutely disrespecting you, thinking only about themselves, liking whoever they want, and thinking it's okay, leave. Do yourselves the favor and leave. Don't put up with disrespect from these guys ever again. Do not let these guys disrespect you more than they already did. If it's not working out now, God forbid it goes any further and you get any deeper into that relationship, okay? And you end up bringing another life into this world or you end up marrying this guy when from day one, he wasn't even into you to begin with. You just kind of were a thing for a while and it seemed cute in the moment. You took it seriously, he never did but you guys kind of stuck it out together. And then now life becomes serious and you can't get away as easily. Think about it that way. If he's doing this in a relationship already. Imagine what he's gonna do further down the line. Just know that, know that a guy would not risk anything if he cared slash liked you slash loved you, okay? You got that's, that's honestly, it's the hard truth. It's rough to hear, but it's legitly what's going on out there. A lot of women are investing their time into these guys that have no sense of direction. You have no sense of meaning. You don't know what you even want. You kind of just take what comes your way, whatever, without appreciating what you have, without respecting what you have, without growing with what you have. And then they break hearts hard and leave these women damaged for future relationships, hating themselves for something that they had nothing to do with. Okay, ladies, save yourselves the drama, save yourselves the pain, save yourselves the time. Invest it into somebody who's going to want to spend that time with you, who's going to want to respect you, who's going to want to grow with you, who's going to want to become stronger with you. If you're already trying to change the person before you're even in a relationship with them, it's a clear sign that that person is not for you. For somebody else, but it's not for you. Don't settle, ladies. Don't settle. You know you can do so much better. You guys are smart, intelligent. You guys have great personalities. 
You guys have hearts of gold. Use everything wisely, okay? So, ladies, I hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments if you've been through something very similar, because I know a lot. I get a lot of emails, and I try to put them together and turn into kind of a, one video to share with you guys. And I get these questions left and right with these guys that these women are trying to change. And the truth is, never will. These are the type of guys that are just stuck in their ways until like 10 years from now, when maybe, maybe they mature, okay? But again, if you have a story, share it down below. Make sure if you guys want me to answer any questions, feel free to send me an email. I always leave my email down below and I will make a video for your story. Okay, make sure you like, subscribe, and share my content with everybody that you know. And I'll see you guys in my next video, okay? Take care, bye.